We're in Tokyo at the Apple Store. Ask anybody from hip hop to punk music. I mean, people are still wearing his leftovers. <laughs> Ask anyone. But where did you? I I don't know the story. How did you guys meet? The quick version, uh, since everyone can go get the uh, long version online. He and I used to go to the same jeweler. Um, and Jacob used to tell me, "Oh, this guy. There's this guy in Japan. You gotta meet him. You know, he's so cool." And he brings in these photos of of you with your jewelry. And uh, the only thing is, he buys what you make, but then he also gets it in different colors. <laughs> each piece I'm like really he's like yeah you gotta meet him so then we're getting ready to go to uh, Japan and I needed a studio to work in and Nigo heard about it and he arranged for us to be able to work there in his studio but in his studio he also had like you know he just had this building that had like diff every floor had something different and uh, he took us downstairs and showed me his showroom and it was literally like a candy shop of his clothing, his apparel, and his uh, sneakers. And from that point on, I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta know this guy. Like this, I've never seen anything like this in my life. Why is it important for uh, Nigo to s sign artists and have a music label? Because he seems to be really passionate about that. Yeah, he's always done it. うーんとね、やっぱ音楽を聞いてないとファッションがわからなくなっちゃう。で、音楽とファッションで一つのカルチャーって思ってる人だから常に自分でもやるし、プロデュースもするし、人のも聞くっていう。ファッションは音楽から
come in contact with the music first or visually we try to see how everything can play together and come into shape so I feel like with the storytelling there's a jewelry apparel and then the music and how we display must all come together to tell the story to the customers so we always kind of like think about how we can like mix everything but it's never literal you know what I mean if it's about reggae I'm not going to just play everything reggae it's just going to be our interpretation of what how it should be played out in a way. Mm-hmm. When did you guys meet Pharrell? I think when um, Nigo um, brought us together for the Teriyaki Boys project. For us, um, it was this group that Nigo forged. You know, it was like he's doing a compilation. It was Ilmari. It was the Teriyaki Boys guys, um, and he was like, "Hey, let's do a song together." And first it was like Nigo featuring Ilmari, Ryozi, Wise, and Verbal. And we're like, that's a no- long name. So we just kind of said, like, how about Teriyaki Boys? And it was supposed to be like a one-song project, you know. Yeah. But then, like, you know, um, uh, Pharrell blessed us with a couple of songs. And one one of the songs maybe some of you guys know called, you know, um, Tokyo Drift Fat from Fast and Furious. You know, people still remix that and play that on the floor, the, you know. So, you know, um, the... The legacy continues and you know um that's crazy yeah it's crazy <laughs> um i was at like some of those like bigger um electronic music festivals and someone someone had made like this kind of like mashup or remix and they were just playing it on the main floor like it was crazy you know wow yeah that's crazy yeah so, and then we we had we gone on to like make a couple songs together and yeah yeah it was, a, it was an amazing time that's crazy it was a crazy time <laughs> all the jewelry yeah. yeah, that was like people were making like bigger and bigger and bigger jewelries back then. And yeah. like, <laughs> I was like, so <laughs> it was really inspirational. Yeah, it's a crazy time. Yeah. And you had that that Olympic medal style one? Oh, oh, yeah, with the tape. Crazy. I mean, I was definitely inspired by you guys, you know, with All the right. Gucci link and everything. And like, yeah, I'm just, that, that was just like something. And, you know, I think that was um, very... Uh, you know, inspirational, f- inspirational for us in making our own jewelry as well. And, you know, yeah, take- but you guys were killing it. They were like, somebody would have like a Jesus piece and he went out and got like a Michael Jackson piece. <laughs> like literally the head of Michael Jackson. It was like nuts. Wow. <laughs> I remember because I, I, I had made that because that was, you know, he's my, Michael Jackson's like our idol, you know, of course. And then um, I remember when when I had that piece on and. Pharrell was like, oh, yo, let me check that Jesus piece. What is Michael Jackson? <laughs> I, was like, I, remember, I, I totally remember that. I grew up listening to, like, lots of hip-hop, and, you know, I was like, I got to go to either New York or Boston or somewhere around there. And then, you know, I got into Boston College, so I decided to go there. That's crazy. Yeah. She went to BU, Boston University, so that's where I met her. Wow. Boston's a great college town. Yeah, there's, all, there's a ton of schools all in one area. Yeah. Definitely. Lots of brain waves. We like study, you know, study late night in all these like cafes and stuff and like lots of good energy, you know. What did you guys major in in college? Graphic design and minor in art history. Wow. So you were on your way to do that, what you want. Yeah. I kind of knew it since middle school, I think. Do you draw or was it always just taking images that you saw and putting them together? There was like, you know, like back in the days when you, you, you have to like make everything, like when you do presentation, like, like arts and craft kind of thing. And for some reason, I was like really drawn to that. And then I got into magazines and reading a lot of magazines. And then I just I kind of thought about how can I do something that's visual, but organize information on pages. So I found out that that's called graphic design mm-hmm. in middle school. And I'm just like, okay, I'm just, that's what I'm going to do. So I, I kind of knew, yeah. <laughs> that's great. Wow. Yeah. What, what did you say your major was? Oh, um, I majored in um, business and philo- – I double majored in business and philosophy. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, I mean, because <laughs> when I was in college, I wasn't intending on pursuing a music career or anything creative, you know, at that, you know, because um, I, w- I was in a band in high school. But then it, it wasn't realistic back in the 90s to, you know, make a living off of, like, emceeing or doing what, whatever I'm doing right now. Like, mm-hmm. you know, it, it didn't seem like a, a career path for, for 
me and especially my parents who were like very adamant about me being a doctor or lawyer or you know it's like asian thing yeah, it's an asian thing you know so <laughs> so so um i had kind of given up but then you know when the whole thing my music thing started and you know like i said like she was really inspirational in me starting that kind of um career so you know here i am he did a collaboration with kanye he did a the animation for it and the and the the video yeah yeah, for, um, wasn't that graduation? Yes. And some sculpture, sculptures, too. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Of the bear. And the album cover, right? Mm-hmm. That was a long project, like a long time. Like, uh, he offered me the jacket first, and uh, I gave to him some images reaction is after two months and then give to him like you know immediately come back and he came to Tokyo and he came to my studio long time to you know behind me sitting over eight hours and very processory request and then you know give to him the image and uh, completely you know change everything eight hours <laughs> kind of that wow so, but uh, yeah, night, yeah, it's a very interesting process. What interested you about the complex con? Now is a kind of the, uh, the how can I say like an interactive installation thing? Yes. So that is uh, my new experience. Mm. So and also the you know many products, mm. very short time mm. to create. And uh, yes, like, you know, really that complex designer is very unique mm -hmm. for me because completely American design thing. Yeah. So that is really nice, you know, can making a, you know, next, you know, new thing. Mm. You know, we're all about like bringing people together and the idea that we could bring, you know, Japan to America mm. in such a, you know, big and ubiquitous way it's just it's just good for the culture and we love that you continue to do things for the culture it's awesome oh uh, thank you <laughs> oh man thank you how did you guys meet for the first time it's a uh, uh the uh french gallerist perotan yeah. yeah to introduce to together yeah and uh, he was show in uh, his furniture project right yeah i was in, doing uh, chairs yeah yeah, yeah. So, and uh, I saw the, his show, and uh, he introduced me, this is a pharaoh, you know, the musician, but he making for the furniture. It's, and then, I don't know, in the Paris we meet? Yep. So, and then, like, uh, he opened me some, that we talking about, uh, you know, kind of the jewelry stuff. Yeah. And then started the collaboration. But, same time, like, uh, you and Nigo making for the, the closing project. Yes. I know very much, you know, his background. Yeah, him and Nigo are very friendly too. Yeah. That's awesome. And you spend most of your time here in Japan? Yes. Yeah, now it's yes. Yeah. What's your favorite city in the United States? Oh, it's uh, Los Angeles. I love. I have no driver's license, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Los I don't know. Like Los Angeles is looks like my kind of the second hometown. So because uh, the when I'm making a show, mm -hmm. the art show is reactions very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a mixing for the many Asian people mm -hmm. and uh, you know Mexican people and uh, you know very mix. The you know these people getting a very favorite my taste. That's why. Right.